G'day everybody, welcome back to Enshrouded. We are here in Wistful Fields, just continuing off where we uh, left it in the previous episode. And uh, yeah, if we want to talk about what happened in the previous episode, we did eventually get to Surat's Rest and we found the Almanac. Speaking of Surat's Rest though, there is still one question mark somewhere in that area. And I'm curious to see if we can get to it. I'm not entirely sure how, but there was a pathway that led down towards sort of this side of the, uh, what do you want to call this? Like a mountain, I guess? So we can have a look around and see if we can actually, you know, um, find out what's going on in there. I would also like to mention, guys, that, uh, between the previous episode and this one, I think a major update has actually dropped, uh, changing quite a few of the mechanics in this game. Um, you'll probably notice a few visual changes and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah. And I have also noticed that there is some kind of icon there occupying one of our uh, food slots. I'm not sure what that means because we haven't eaten. Uh, potentially it could be a debuff. Um, I forget how to... Uh, check on those sorts of things. Uh, character... Oh, there is one buff. Uh, yeah. I'm not... Oh, here. Hungry. Yeah. I'm not sure what Hungry does, actually. Um, but it doesn't count as a debuff, interestingly. But yeah, I mean, if we're hungry, we may as well eat. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll, uh, probably do... I could do a veggie puree, but I reckon chamomile tea is better. And hazelnut. And yeah, so, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, go out there to Surat's Rest once more. And we'll try and see if we can get to this question mark. Do a little bit of, uh, digging around for more resources. And more loot. And hopefully, um, we'll be able to sort of close off the chapter of uh, being here in Surat's Rest. The other thing that I've also noticed is um, there seems to be a few sort of visual type glitches when we access the map now. Um, I don't know if this is something new that the update has brought about. But anyway, uh, let's do it. I think... We just need to go in this way and just turn left over here. Uh, obviously, all of the enemies have respawned. So we just need to fight our way through. And also, if you're curious, between this episode and the previous one, I've also just done a little bit of a cleanup of um, a lot of our uh, inventory. I do have a lot of stuff here on me uh, because I was sort of testing out what we we're going to do for the latter half of the um, of the playthrough, which will most likely involve us, you know, doing quite a bit of building. So that's the plan, anyway. I can't remember if we've been into some of these homes. A bit more metal. I think we do have quite a bit of metal going on at home. Definitely haven't seen this. Uh, probably don't need those bombs, to be honest. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't really want to be in the mud. Okay, so let's go across. We know that there are some angry kitties around here. Um, yeah, I suppose we should fight them. And I think there's another bigger group of angry kitties just to our left here. I wonder if I can get away from fighting them.
if we just simply leave them alone, hopefully they won't follow us. Oh, okay. <laughs> nope. That's kind of impossible. All right, all right. We are getting a lot of raw game. Um, I'm just not entirely sure I like picking up too much raw game because we have sort of moved on to eating some of that bird meat instead. Those beautiful chicken wings. So I want to keep eating the chicken wings instead. Uh, so it does look like you can go down there but obviously not further along. We will die if we go down that way. Um, let's continue on this way. As I did see, I think there was some kind of a, a chest. Let me just jump back up here and uh, see if we can find where it is exactly. Ah oh, yeah, just over there. Um, not sure what the best way to get there is, but I might as well glide there. Bit of damage, but that's okay. Yeah, there's more stuff up that way. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that. So, it might also help if we just set the waypoint. And, um, yeah, I'm sort of thinking... Does it say... Yeah, okay. It says location above. I thought it was uh, a location below us. So, interesting. We hopefully should be able to get there. didn't see the the um, the hook there for swinging but that's okay we managed to get here oh Bit of a surprise that's our inventory looking okay it's still decent I just hope that there's uh, not too much stuff to try and pick up, but we might have to sacrifice a, a thing or two if there's something very important to to get. Okay, just twigs. I'll get rid of that. Easy to get more twigs, I would say. Um, that is a person up there, isn't it? Oh, and down here as well. there. Very nice. So how do we get across? I suppose maybe I just want to jump this section? Oh no, okay. We can grapple up there. So far, nothing super worthwhile. Yeah, even this room, despite it being locked, nothing in there. So, very disappointing. Okay, let's just jump across this way. Yes, okay. Um. Uh. 
This is not exactly taking us to where we need to go. Perhaps maybe up this way? Oh yes, alright. We're almost there. We've reached the waypoint. Do we now need to go underneath or... Is there a way up here? Oh, yep. God, alright. <laughs> almost died. Nice, okay, now we've got access to limestone blocks. Um, but I assume the limestone blocks are actually just, you know, in the style of all of these buildings here that we can already see. So, you know, I'm not sure if we really want to be using the limestone blocks that much in our build, but at least we have the option to use it for future builds if we really want to. Oh, right. Okay, this is where we came up. Um, yeah, completely missed the fact that we needed to backtrack and... Sorry, um, not backtrack, but double back and uh, and get up there. So, I think that's the question mark cleared. So, Surat's Rest is explored. However, I think uh, last episode or, or the episode before that, I mentioned something about this section here looking like a bit of a... A place that would be explorable. Um, perhaps it's a matter of just um, getting our um, our altar level up to I don't know what level. I guess level five maybe. So I'll need to check back on that. Um, one last thing is, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we've visited all of the homes in this area, but with no question marks being around. I would assume that we would have seen, or we would have already seen, all of the loot that is actually available in this area. I mean, there's nothing, you know, new that we haven't seen before, if that makes sense. Yeah, these guys are still... Very tough to deal with. remember if I've been into this area, like the second floor especially. how to get up that way. There we go. And s swing across as well. Okay, yeah, I could have climbed this side. Hmm. I'm sure I have actually been into the tavern, so let's go this side, double doors here.
Yeah, this must be some kind of an elixir press or something like that. I guess they're distilling elixir-based drinks or something in this particular building. Well, I guess it makes sense because the tavern's like right next to it. And this is the uh, the arena. Uh, not interested. Not interested in fighting in the arena again. That matron that we had to deal with was very, very tough, and um, I don't really want to fight it again, or at least not until we um, we have better gear or have like a ton more of the potions that we need. Trying to jump up on this ledge here. Yeah, there are still a few buildings that I feel like we haven't really seen. down here. Lockpick. But uh, doesn't seem like there's much else. Seems like some kind of a uh, library maybe. Nice. Yeah, it seems like this game really likes to hide treasures in, like, high locations. So, climbing, climbing up to the very top of a building, getting to the roof and stuff like that. Or the attic is a really, really useful thing to do if you're interested in loot. Wild Heart Seekers. Hmm. Oh, uh, one thing that I did um, notice or take note of when I was watching the trailers for the latest update uh, was the fact that uh, we can now display quite a few things, uh, including displaying like, you know, weapons and armor and stuff like that. So sure, I have been salvaging a lot of stuff, but perhaps maybe if we do find some cool looking weapons or... Um, you know, even things that we don't normally use, maybe we can start keeping some of it, because, um, yeah, it'd be nice to have some decorations to be placed in various locations. Um, that does also put a bit of a spanner in the works with, um, you know, the way we've built a lot of these places. They're, mm, I don't want to say cramped, but they do um, serve as a bit of a functional space more so than, um, you know, a very decorative one. And, um, I feel like if we are going to display pieces of armor and stuff like that, we'll need heaps more space. So, yeah, I won't go too crazy with it. I do like the way we've decorated the space so far, though. Um, right. So, I've got heaps of stuff here that I do want to just clean up before we get started with focusing on building. So let's go ahead and do that, and uh, yeah, I think maybe to start we might need to head back to our old base and do stuff there. Um, yeah, we don't even have space to make um, more stuff here, or I, I can't exactly stash more game. So I might need to, 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe even make like a, a spare um, storage chest. I've also rearranged a few things here and there, guys, uh, just to try and make things a little bit easier or life a little bit easier for us. But all right, since we're going back home, I think what I want to do is I also just want to grab a little bit of extra water. I know I can't exactly see here. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there is going to be some new lighting options. Um, it'd be good to get some new lighting options for the outside of this little village hey. that we're trying to construct. But uh, anyway, a lot of quests are now available it seems. Um, I don't know if that's because of the update or because of the uh, latest almanac that we've managed to obtain. Um, Here is an example of one of the changes that we can see now guys. So um, a lot of the stuff uh, that we can craft is now um, displayed as very large icons uh, and I really like that change actually because it makes looking for stuff that much more um, or that that much easier essentially so um, yeah and then you know if you know which categories stuff belong in you can always sort of still search stuff from here but yeah it's nice to have just everything you know in front of you so um, I think storage is going to be a problem so I'm thinking of, I don't know, making at least like another small chest or something. Let's just dump what we can in here. And then we'll make some decisions after. Um, I'll put all of the metals in here. We're not really smelting more of the sheets just yet, but... Oh yes, and uh, I noticed this um, of daggers and wine. It says that it's music. I have no idea what that is exactly. Um, must be thanks to... I don't know if it's the latest update or maybe a previous one. But there seems to be something to do with music that we can now do. Um, I have no idea what. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. Um, suppose I can store some extra meats and stuff in here uh, with the rest of our sort of cooking ingredients. Arrows. I do like having arrows though, um, so I won't get rid of those. Um, as much as I would like to decorate with weapons and stuff like that, maybe it's better if we still salvage stuff and then, you know, later when we do know where we want to start decorating pieces of armor or weapons, we can always just go out there and look for said weapons um, or craft said pieces of armor or even look for the pieces of armor that is. But yeah, um, I think we're done here. Let's head back and with the water, I think maybe what we could do is just stash it into the um, the seed beds. I think that's a, a decent place to just, like, keep batches of water. Yeah, we have plenty still. Yeah, we'll, um, just divide it. Okay, something like that. And animal furs. This is how I was looking for all of this stuff. Um, the other day. Um, but yeah, if we want to make some more leather, we're going to have to um, get some more ammonia glands. I think we had a few the other day, so um, I do need to grab those and just chuck them in. But yeah, I'll just drop all of the the animal furs that we have in here. We'll bank them up quite a bit. Okay. Um, I do want to have a chat with the various people because there seems to be a lot of stuff going on. So let's do that. What's your wish? So a loom for padded armor. Huh? In the wilds, every breath you take can be your last. We'd fare better with padded armor and I could make some with a padding kit if I had a loom. Here's my intel. 
The best weavers were from East Lapis, and the town was largely spared from the war. Don't ask questions. Information was crucial in my former pr uh, profession. I don't know the exact location, but the weaver's cottage is decorated with plenty of banners. Okay, cool. So we need to look for this loom. And yeah, I'm guessing there's maybe a few new things that we can now craft thanks to either the almanac or the recent update. So we'll have a, a quick look at stuff. Hunter's vest. Yeah, okay. Sharpshooter set. Cool. And they all look quite nice, but we are going for a bit more of a tankier build, right? So not really going to worry too much. And... In terms of decoration and stuff, we still have the same sort of stuff from before. Ammo. Special arrows. Hmm. Okay. Catch you later. Interesting. Uh, I could have a chat with some of the other crafters, but maybe we can do that later when we need to go back to the old base. Just gonna have a sleep now and um, speed up the night. We'll start building. Bloody hell, it's been a while. Uh, I think one thing that we're missing is perhaps maybe just some dirt. So let me just quickly grab our dirt. Stone as well. Okay, cool. So the reason why I wanted dirt and stuff is because, well, you know, this new building is going to house everyone else. Um, I think I'm still missing one more uh, craftsperson, so look, uh, the additional craftsperson could become a bit of a problem in terms of housing, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but um, the idea is the blacksmith will also be here, and he's going to have his workshop sort of out this way, uh, and out in the open, or semi-open, um, so yeah, I sort of want to be able to set him up in a place that makes a bit of sense. Um, and I think to do that, I sort of want to to get rid of some of the grass around here. So we'll use the dirt road blocks We'll just do something like that, and then from here, if we use the rake, yeah, okay, so and then if we flatten it, yeah, brilliant, but we can't really, okay, yeah, so... That's it. Gonna be a little bit tricky. We might even have to get rid of some of these tiles here. Um, and I'm also thinking, I wonder if this stone needs to go. I would like to keep some natural stones if possible, but... Let's try that again. So... I don't want it to be too, um, you know, like tidy or anything like that. I, I want it to look slightly natural. I don't really want to make like a, a square.
All right. And now I think I want to just flatten all of this. Okay, brilliant. So yeah, this will be the space where um, I'll create like a little sort of chimney and stuff like that and um, we'll have all of the uh, tools for the blacksmith set up. That's the idea anyway. Did I accidentally put some grass on top of this thing? Possibly. Possibly. Not a bad look. <laughs> I might actually like put flower soil or something like that at some point. Anyway, the biggest challenge is going to be continuing building all of this. So uh, I think we did make a start quite a while ago on um, the basement. So I'm going to continue with the basement and see how we go. Um, just trying to figure out how the stairwell is going to go down in this basement. I think we're going to go down... Mm, possibly... like this way. We might need a little bit more space to go into the side of the mountain, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out in a moment. Let's go and do a wall. And yeah, initially I think I, I just want to set down a wall. This is probably not going to be a permanent wall because uh, we're just sort of figuring out where things need to go. But yeah, if, if I just like snap that there, the very least we should know where we need to continue cutting out from so yeah let's use this and I'm just trying to look for like blocks that we have like most abundant um, materials of the weathered stone blocks I think so we'll use that as a as a cutting tool I get that right? Mm, I think this is going down a little bit, right? Like, maybe that's not quite what we want. This is why using snapping is not always the best thing. that again. Huh. That's so strange. Why is that giving us two blocks? Even though I only pressed it once. So strange. I think that's flat. So yeah, let's uh let's see here. The basement can probably be much bigger than what um the upper or sorry, the ground level rooms are going to be, but I don't really have an idea of how big I really want it to be just yet. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So, I think we've done some decent work down there, trying to uh, carve out the basements, but it's getting a little bit difficult to see what's going on in there. So I feel like perhaps maybe getting some form of lighting is in order at this point. Uh, so let's see what we can do on that front. Uh, I'm sort of thinking maybe uh, we don't want to be carrying all of our materials here, especially the ones that we don't really think that we're going to be using. Um, one sec. I should be checking on the material that we're using for the floor. Hang on, what was that? Huh. One sec. So... I need to just make sure that we're keeping the stuff that we're using for this floor. So, is that the weathered stone? Yeah, okay. It is actually the weathered stone. So, I'll keep weathered stone and flintstone walls or flintstone blocks. But I think I'll let go of everything else. Uh, the half-timbered uh, timbered block. I do really like the look of the half-timbered block for the second story, so I'm probably just going to keep that. The roofs... I'll sort of cross that bridge when we get there. I don't think we'll need the roofs this episode. Yeah, I have no idea what this is going to be for, but I suppose I do need to keep it for something. <laughs> um, I think I did notice that if you look at the map, there are points of interest that show you where to find more music sheets, I think. Yeah, here's an example. So we would need to go back to Fort Cal uh, Kelvin for that, but... Probably not happening this episode. Uh, right, lighting. So, let's head back to our old home. And we'll see if we can make some kind of lighting for the space. Uh -huh. There's also be a, a good opportunity for us to have a chat with various people about new things. A laboratory Welcome. for healing. You know, to be an alchemist... Uh, sorry, you know me to be an alchemist, but I was born a scholar, dear friend. With some scientific instruments, we could craft a new laboratory and create better healing tinctures. A friend of mine, Lorraine Krim, studied the ancient obelisks in the east and surely used scientific instruments for her work. She would not mind to lend them out, I believe. Okay. Cool. We'll, we'll look for what we need. Uh have a chat with I think it's Aiden or sorry Alden collecting ma uh, magical artifacts flamekeeper you know I collect many things why not join me in this pleasure keep your eyes peeled the hollow halls hide golden golden urns forbidden books and enchanting crystals oh I've picked the springlands clean but the other regions still hide little treasures mm. everything ends yeah, I'm not entirely sure I really want to go to another Hollow Halls right now. Um, they're very challenging to deal with. Right, so lighting. Um, I mean, it's tempting to... You need my help. Tombs and Treasures. I think we've actually read that one already. But uh, I am sort of interested in whether or not we can make some lighting that we can sort of use later on. So I don't want to go like super cheap on the lighting. So yeah, I think maybe what we need is just to make a whole bunch of candles. We have everything we need for the chandelier. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So chan, uh, sorry, not, not chandlers. <laughs> um, the um, 
uh, the candles. I think we can make the candles from here. Yeah, okay. Plenty of ingredients for it. I forget how many we need, but it's okay. I think we probably have what we need now. Yeah, we only needed four. Watch out for splinter. All good. Um, we do have a bit of extra storage here. Not exactly any free space for any additional stuff, though. Yeah, I'll just drop that there. Although... I mean, it's not a bad idea to just bring the candles and we can maybe just place down the candles um, when we need, like, a bit of light. But yeah, I just want to light up what we've got going on underneath the structure. Not that I normally build, like, at night. We can still sort of roughly see, but once I put walls up on the sides, I think it'll be completely dark. So yeah, let's just get this in. And yeah, I don't really need to place it down like very neatly because um, it's just supposed to offer a little bit of light. Okay, good. Decent start. Let's continue here, and I just want to get the walls in at the very least. Yeah, so I did start sort of digging this way. I'm not entirely sure if that's required or not. Actually, maybe I have made a bit of a mistake here. Let me collect all of this. Oh, um, of course, I've, uh, I brought the wrong type of rocks. Or, sorry, the wrong type of blocks, rather. Alright, since it's dark, we may as well have a sleep right now, and we'll continue building when the sun comes up.
Okay, since the sun is still just about to peek out here, I think I'll use this opportunity just to quickly do a bit more work on the outside. So we'll add some more walls here. We're gonna need to do this at some point anyway. Um. Maybe not use the snapping there and just add a little bit extra to the corner there. And just before I forget, I do want to add a little bit more to the top of this wall. So the idea is that I want this uh, first level or the ground level to be uh, or to have a higher ceiling. So yeah, it'll be a bit bigger. And then, um, yeah, we'll have like a normal sized second floor. Unlike the other home, which I think I made the second floor have like a, a higher ceiling in that one. But yeah, too late to fix that now. I, I could, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just live with that, to be honest. Okay, so let's continue. I could swear that I always uh, end up losing a certain number of blocks while I'm doing this. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong that's, uh, that's causing that to happen, but anyway. I think this is looking good actually, so I just need to remove these two and we'll just start walling things off. And I'm probably going to run out of um, flintstone blocks here, but... run out. Um, I'm considering making another chandelier to be honest because considering how big the space is uh, we might actually want to why am I not able to pick these up there we go uh, considering yeah the the size of a lot of these spaces including the ground floor I think we're going to need a lot more chandeliers, so I'll make a few more of those candles. Hopefully that'll light things up quite nicely. There's obviously the uh, ability to make like bronze chandeliers and stuff like that as well, so you might consider that. So maybe we shouldn't rush too much into making like heaps of them. But at the very least, one more chandelier I think will go nicely. Um, and maybe we'll do a couple extra candles as well, just so that we can place things down where we need it. Uh, blocks. Yeah, we should make the blocks. Hopefully we have the materials needed though. Rough flintstone blocks. Okay. <laughs> we've, uh, we've run out of flintstone so we're gonna need to collect more of that uh, just sort of thinking that uh, instead of sort of spending some time in this episode trying to collect flintstone for the purposes of preparing ourselves for a build in the next episode I think maybe we can spend time putting the floors down in this uh, basement because, yeah, the basement is still dirt, <laughs> or the floor is still dirt, so, um, yeah, we may as well do that. Oh, I, uh, I forgot about the, the chandelier. Sorry, guys, uh, let me just quickly do that now. Q. 
see if you look at my craft. Hmm. A large magic chest. Which we haven't built yet. I think we may have gotten the medium magic chests. So I would like to actually make a large magic chest at some point. That way we shouldn't really have too much of an issue with um, all of our stuff overflowing all the time. Ah yes, look at this. So there's all sorts of new decorative items that we can now make. Including all of this stuff here, which I believe these are the mannequins needed to display armor sets. And this is all the... Um, I don't think these are for trophies. I think this is more for weapons and stuff. A shield wall mount. So yeah, that's very specific. Very cool. Primitive stone shelf. Yeah, we haven't seen that before. Yeah, all of this stuff as well, which has now unlocked thanks to, I guess, some of the new materials that we're now seeing. Or perhaps maybe this came with the update, I, I can't really tell. Okay, um, sorry, we do need the lighting. So, illumination. Nice. You've got a good eye, Flameborn. Yeah, making sure that the staircase comes down properly is going to be a bit of a <laughs> uh, an ordeal, I think, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right, so we can put just maybe one or two more walls. But yeah, I think that's it. So let's switch to the floors. And let's get a floor in this place. And that's all the material that I have for the floors as well, so <laughs> at least we've made some form of progress here. But I am going to need to spend some time between episodes gathering up some flints and gathering up some, I think, just normal stone as well. Uh, to try and make these weathered stone blocks. Might just quickly go back to our old base. I just want to see if we can actually make some more weathered stone blocks. We might be able to, because I think we might have some stone. Yeah, okay. I think I think this is what we're using, right? Weathered stone blocks. Just don't want to make the wrong thing. We, we have plenty of stone, actually, so... Cool. Um, but yeah, the flint stone we're going to need to grab, and I think there should be a couple of deposits over that way so i think we'll sign up here and um when i come back hopefully i'll would have had um already grabbed all of the um all of the stuff we need for the build uh but for now this is where we'll leave it thank you very much for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed it leave some comments if you want stay true and i'll see you guys in the next one